So because it's pilot month, I wanted to do a special on Pilot's all wheel drive system because it's so fantastic. Pilot has the IVTM4 all wheel drive system with intelligent traction management. Lots of words, I'm gonna explain them all. Check it out. IVTM4, Intelligent Variable Torque Management System. This system is a little bit more of an advanced all wheel drive. Now, it still works in the conventional system, similar to what we have in our CRV, but it becomes more advanced in the sense that it can distribute torque to the back wheels in whichever way that it decides it needs it most. So, for example, if your front wheel is starting to slip, it can give a little bit of power to the back too, realize that maybe this one's slipping too, and it'll distribute more power to this one than to this one because it wants to help you get out of your sticky situation a little bit easier. So this intelligent system is a little bit different from a conventional four wheel drive because four wheel drive will distribute 50% of the power back to both wheels equally. Whereas the Honda Pilot's IVTM4 will actually shift that power depending on where the vehicle needs it most. Honda's Intelligent Traction Management System has four modes. Snow mode, mud mode, sand mode, and normal mode, which you're going to be using most of the time. Now, what does that system do? Well, it actually adjusts your acceleration, transmission, your all-wheel drive distribution, and your vehicle stability assist uh, differently for each individual mode to help you drive in that specific condition. Normal mode is pretty much what it sounds like. It's normal. You're gonna still be in all wheel drive mode, which means that the front two wheels will mostly do the work, but it'll kick in the back wheels when it needs it. Overall, this is the mode you're going to be in the majority of the time. Snow mode. This is one that we're gonna use up here in the north, probably the most, uh, and it works fantastic. What snow mode does is it actually allows less acceleration, it drives more from the rear wheels than the front wheels, and it will feel like you're kind of starting in second gear. So instead of starting in first gear, uh, as it normally would, you're going to feel a slower salt, almost like your wheels are turning slower to get moving, which will help you get better grip in the winter time. So it, it is a second gear start as opposed to a first gear start. And um, it really helps you get going on those slippery, icy, snowy, even the slushy days, even the big snow days, those kinds of days. So uh, one of the best uh, features for our Northern Ontario winters up here. Mud mode allows you to, well, drive in mud. What it does to your all wheel drive system the acceleration is going to be mixed between more and less depending on the situation and how much you need. In the all wheel drive part of this, you're actually going to be kicking more power to the rear. So it's going to be mostly um, using the back wheels to steer or to move the vehicle. Um, with regards to the transmission, it'll be in a low hold so that you have better traction and the vehicle stability assist system actually will allow you to slip, which it doesn't normally do. Now, sand mode is very, very similar to mud mode. It does the same thing with regards to more rear power coming from the back wheels. Uh, the transmission is going to be in a low hold as well, and the vehicle stability assist allows you to slip a little bit more, uh, which again, is not something that it normally does, only in these situations. But the biggest difference between those two modes is that in sand mode, you're gonna actually have more acceleration. Sand is a little bit slipperier, right? So the more acceleration will give it a little bit better traction. I hope you guys enjoyed my bonus video for pilot month. If you have more questions about IVTM4, I would love to answer them for you. So please reach out and let me know. Beyond that, if you haven't done so already, please reach out to me on my social media. You'll find me on LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. I'll, I'll set up a QR code right after this video so that you can scan it in. Thanks again for following. I appreciate you guys, and I will talk to you soon.